Hey, we was made for this. Stuck to the paper like a paper clip, just saying this. Accolades talking, you ain't saying shit. Got a lot to give, but it's a waste if you just saving it. You thinking by the air ball, I'm knowing that we making it. Always optimistic, big hits, no histic. Fresh out the womb, was already on the mission. Gifted, future superstar, what they predicted. Yes, they was right, they was right, bro. Got the future shining brighter than a light bulb. They wanna take away my games like it's light bulb. Until I go psycho, and show you who's bad like Michael. Better come Gains, bro. Welcome to the video. There's no feeling quite like getting a pump going first thing in the morning. Shout out to Patrick for filming and editing that dope intro sequence. Julia, she's still out of town for a few more days. And speaking of that, last video I had a lot of Sherlock Holmes down in the comments saying, Bro, at 7 minutes and 40 seconds, I see a girl in the background. Is that Julia? Are you lying to us? Guys, that was Bethany, my newest employee. She was just over doing some work. Like, y'all gotta chill on these conspiracy theories. Anyway, today I wanna talk to y'all about a few tendencies that only high value men have. So basically, if you're already doing these things, then congrats, you're well on your way to living a confident, successful life. And if not, well, it might be time for you to make some changes. Number one is what I like to call the diamond mindset. I'm gonna go ahead and quote the great rapper Beanie Siegel. Some of y'all might know him. He said, pressure bust pipes, pressure can also make a diamond. Pressure bust pipes, pressure can also make a diamond. And he might've been quoting someone else, but there's, there's so much truth behind this statement because like no matter what part of your journey that you're on right now, you're always gonna have pressure. You're always gonna have failure. You're always gonna have struggle and pain. And something that you know high value men do consistently is when they go through these tough periods, they don't even think about giving up. They, they just plow forward. And look, th this did not come naturally to me. Like I used to be the type of guy who if I experienced even a little smidgen of struggle, like I was out. Let's say, you know, I got a girl's number and I was texting her, things were going well. And then she didn't respond for a day. I'd be like, oh my God, this girl doesn't like me. I don't think any girls like me. I'm out, I I'm giving up on dating. Or back in my high school basketball, you know, if I made a mistake when I was playing and the coach chewed me out, I'd be like, oh my God, I, I suck at basketball. I I'm not even gonna try and make a play. I'm just, I'm just gonna pass the ball every time I get it from now on. But here's the thing, man. I would not trade all of that pain and failure for anything in the world because ultimately dealing with so much of it early in my life is what taught me how to endure it and keep going. And that's one reason why if you look at a lot of the most cool and popular kids in your high school, their life arc looks kind of like this. Everything's given to them up front. They have such an easy life that later on when they deal with struggle, they don't know how when they fold. And the same thing can be said of child Hollywood stars. You know, recently I was watching a podcast with Miley Cyrus on Joe Rogan. She's one of the few child stars who built a future for herself. And she repeatedly says that, you know, as she grew, grew older and had to deal with more struggle, she didn't know how. And that led her to a very dark place with a lot of drug use. The harsh truth is there's no such thing as a comfortable, easy life. There's always gonna be pain, there's always gonna be suffering, and that's why I recommend looking at your life like the stock market. Sure, in the short term sometimes, you're gonna lose progress and things aren't gonna look good, but if you don't give up, you're always gonna bounce back and make some serious gains in the long term. Like yes, I've come a long way, but guys, don't think that I deal with any less struggle now. It's just different types of struggle. Sometimes my YouTube views crash for a minute. Sometimes I get hurt and lose some gains. Sometimes I make a bad investment and lose thousands of dollars. The difference is that now I have that diamond mindset I'm like you know what bring it on this struggle is not gonna stop me I'm gonna use this as motivation to come back even stronger and that's what I recommend you do too man look at the pain look at the struggle embrace it and keep going Speaking of pain and suffering, it's been about a month since I've had Taco Way. But you know what? As always, we're gonna bounce back and make some taco gains. So today we got two chicken tacos, two lunch tacos, only one breakfast taco. The problem with breakfast tacos is they end up being kind of high in fat and calories. And right now your boy is on a mini cut and I need those protons. What the? Tej Hanley, man. Yeah, I'm gonna have to talk to Aaron about this. This is not an acceptable means of delivery. That kind of hurt too, but 
It's actually kind of convenient because I forgot to moisturize my skin this morning. Let's go ahead and partner with Tiege Hanley to be the sponsor of today's video. Bro, the easiest way to describe Tiege Hanley is like this, uncomplicated skincare for men. If you sign up, they send you a box just like this that contains a variety of different creams and lotions that have been formulated to work together and give you clear, healthy skin that makes you feel more confident. It's gonna make you look a little more attractive too. For example, you're gonna get their daily face wash. I use this every morning along with their AM moisturizer that is some sun protection. And you know, every night I also like to use their PM moisturizer before bed. And the coolest part is all of their products are made from top of the line ingredients like collagen and eucalyptus, which would normally cost you a little bit of money. But because tea shells directly to the consumer, they can offer this at a super affordable price. And because they're sponsoring today's video, if you click that first link in the description, you can get an even better deal on your first box of Tiege Hanley. And just to be clear, yes, I got that toss on my first try. All right, number two is yesterday, not tomorrow. It's funny, man, for most of my life, I thought that my biggest weakness was that I was indecisive and that I just could never commit to a decision. You know, back in college when I started getting job offers, I didn't know, should I take offer A or offer B? I needed to weigh the pros and cons and think about it more. If there was a girl I liked or, you know, I kind of liked, I'd be like, should I approach her? I don't know, man. I need to wait and see if she likes me and then wait for the right time. I can't make my decision. Even when I was working my first job as a software engineer and I was starting to feel like it wasn't the right thing for me, maybe I should try something else. I just, I couldn't make my mind up. I was indecisive. I'm sure a lot of y'all can relate to this, this feeling that you need to do more research and analysis before you're prepared to make your decision, right? Wrong, bro. Honestly, it's a bullshit excuse we give ourselves. Deep down, you know what your decision is. You know, you know, I knew I wanted to talk to that girl and ask her out. I knew I wanted to quit my job and try something else. I was just telling myself a story that I hadn't made my decision yet. Like what separates a high value man from a low value man is not decisiveness. It's that the high value man gives himself a sense of urgency. He knows I need to get this done ASAP where the low value man, he just keeps giving himself excuses why he can keep putting it off and off. Honestly, I think this might be the biggest factor that's driven my personal growth. In the past, I would always give myself permission to figure it out tomorrow. Now I'm like, no, I should have already gotten started on this yesterday. Like with the Beastly app, when I thought of that idea, I had no idea how to build an app, but I knew that it could be a massive business opportunity because there's nothing else like it on the market. So rather than turning it into a difficult decision, I was like, no, how can I already get started? And I opened up Photoshop. I started designing how I wanted all the different screens to look and brainstorming the exact functionality. So when I finally talked to development teams, I had a clear plan and we could quickly get started. Now, obviously the question is, how do you force yourself to stop putting things off and have a sense of urgency? And the answer is you need to scare yourself, bro. You need to ask yourself, what happens if I don't ask this girl out? Well, I'm probably gonna be a pussy and not ask the next girl out and the next girl out, and then I'm gonna end up being super lonely for the rest of my life. What happens if I don't quit this job and pursue a career that's important to me? I'm gonna end up being that 50 year old guy who's depressed, sitting in his cubicle all day and hates his life. I know this seems kind of depressing, but fear can be a very powerful motivator and it can get you to get off your ass and start taking action and making that decision right now. So the worst part about cutting is that when it comes to eating out, there's not that many options, right? You need to have something that's not too high of calories, but high protein. Realistically, there's only one place that comes to mind. What's she order? Chick-fil-A, where they still don't let you eat outside. So I have to eat it in the Raising Cane's parking lot, where apparently violators will be deep fried. So no, nobody speak of this. I don't want to be deep fried. Y'all already know what it is. We got the grilled chicken club sandwich, medium fries, six count nuggets. And of course the best part, diet lemonade with no ice. Hmm. If we take a look at my calories for the day, that completed me. 
Still have a couple extra hundred calories to go, but my macros are on point. -ta. Number three, third sign of a high value man, you don't want anything. So you know, back, this is kind of low, back in my early 20s and teens when I was a low value man, by the way, I hate how many times today I've had to do the air quotes, but I also don't like to use terms like high value man and low value man, alpha, beta, but I, 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 mean, I guess I did make this video. So back when I was a low value man, a tendency that I had was that if I was talking to you, like I wanted something from you. If I went up and I was talking to a girl, you know, I wanted your number in my phone or I wanted to bring you back to my place. And if it didn't end up with the outcome I wanted, I'd be butthurt. If I was talking to a new group of guys, I'd want to get respect from those guys. I'd want to be accepted into the group, and I wouldn't want anyone to be mean to me. And if I didn't get that respect, I'd feel butthurt. You know, I'd go home, I'd feel butthurt, and I'd feel like shit about myself. And when you're in this mindset, you're constantly relying on other people to feel confident about yourself, which is obviously a losing strategy, but it's also very obvious. You know, it's very obvious when you're talking to someone and they want something from you. It feels like, oh man, you know, this guy, he's really trying to make me laugh at his jokes. Like, he's not shutting up. He's kind of awkward. I hope he walks away soon. And you better bet if you're doing this with girls, they're going to be thinking the same thing. They're going to be like, oh, another one of these guys who just, like, desperately wants some attention from a girl. <laughs> Get me out of here. Instead, what you want to do is go into conversations with no expectations. Like, all right, this girl seems cool. I'm going to talk to her a little bit. If it's a cool vibe, I'm going to ask her, do you want to hang out sometime? If not, it's not a big deal. Oh, I'm meeting this new guy. Well, let me learn a little bit about him. And again, if there's a vibe, you know, maybe we'll hang out sometime. If he doesn't like me, like, who cares? Like, it doesn't matter, bro. And the ironic thing is that if you can do this, then people are going to like you way more, both girls and guys, because you're going to be a laid back person to talk to. And there's not going to be this awkward pressure on the conversation. The question is, how do you get there? And this is what I talk about all the time. You have to learn to self-validate. You need to be taking action towards your goals. You need to be working to build up your body in the gym. You need to be working to take the next step in your career or your business. You need to be doing hobbies that you enjoy because when you're doing this, you're leveling up on your own without needing anyone else and that's gonna make you feel good about yourself and then now when you go into social situations no longer do you need these little social approval all the time this is not gonna be necessary anyway bro I'm gonna wrap this video up right here I hope there's no new conspiracy theories in the comments this time but honestly I, I, I'm not gonna get my hopes up if you're still watching I appreciate you so much, man. Like, it means a lot to me. Hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, click subscribe, and turn notifications on because I drop two new videos every single week and you don't want to miss them. I will talk to all of y'all in the next video. Stay beastly.